Hi, welcome back to my channel. Is it me? Am I the drama? Growing up, I was a really big people pleaser. How crazy is this? Just call me Jessie. Jessie? Hi, welcome back to my channel. I am going to the gym. I It is like 12.30. I have been waking up early in the mornings. Not early. Let me take that back before people are like, Michelle, that's not that early. I've been waking up between the hours of... Sometimes when I'm really lucky, I'll wake up at 8. Um, but it ranges between like 8 and 10. Um, which I really have been loving because I do like waking up in the mornings. I have a really wonky schedule. I've noticed since I go to the gym early afternoons I just don't have time to like hydrate my body so I like waking up early so I can hydrate my body and then go to the gym um, also have my hair slicked back um, we are on our way to chub club boot camp I guess we can call it I have just really been liking the slick back look only for the gym because it's just out of my way it's like, I really don't care about impressing anyone at the gym. I totally understand girls who get dressed up, put on their cute outfits, put on a light face, even a full face if you wish, and do your hair. Sure, do what you gotta do. I don't really care. But for me, um, will my insecurities let me wear a cute gym outfit? Probably not. One day I hope I can, but it also is like, it's the gym, at least for my mindset. Like, my mindset says, like, it's the gym. I really don't care. Like, I go in and out. Like, I do what I gotta do and then I leave. Like, I don't really like... I'm just not that way. But I know one day, like, when I get to my, like, body goals, I will be that way. I will buy cute gym sets and I'm sure I will be like, oh my god, look at me. But as of right now, no. Your girl is on a mission and we're just there to get shit done. I just got done with the gym. Hold on, I'm trying to catch my breath. I have noticed something. That really, really, really irks me. Particularly men and how they act in the gym or around the gym, the gym vicinity. I'm just like, does your sense of manners kind of just get thrown out the window before you park? It's like guys get really different when they're around the gym. They get this like big, like macho way. And what I'm talking about in particular is on my way so I park in a parking structure and I have to walk out and take the sidewalk to the gym a lot of gentlemen who walk either out of the gym or to the gym don't move out of the fucking way they see me I see them we've made eye contact and they continue to move they continue to walk in the center of the sidewalk and it irks me because I'm like one this isn't a man or woman thing if women do it too it pisses me off if you see someone walking and they're gonna clearly cross paths with you literally side by side get out of the fucking way like you saw me it wasn't a shock um, but they do it and they don't really give a shit growing up I was a really big people pleaser because I think it came with being fat um, growing up like chubby. I've been on the skinny fat scale for a very long time. I was a very petite child. My mom reminds me every fucking day, I know. And then I got chubby around third grade. And then I've been on diet since I was in fifth grade. Like, your girl has been through it all. And it's just like, it's big. It became a part of me. And I think very recently about Within about a year, I would say, I feel like I've changed really just who I am and like I'm not going to really stop myself from being who I want to be just because I'm fat. Like that, that doesn't make me less of a human being. And so now back th old Michelle would have gone to the side and been like, oh, excuse me. Fuck it. I don't have time for that. Jeffrey, get out of the fucking way. Like b manners, manners. I'm sorry, like, did you not learn any? Seriously? Because you learn them in school, too. So if your parents didn't teach you, school should have. Anyways. Just wanted to get that out there. Because it really pisses me off. Like, common, common sense. Like, my brother laughs about it all the time. 
how I make fun of people or like I have anger issues when it comes to people who lack common sense because it's not that fucking hard to have common sense and manners and like manners fall into common sense and common sense falls into manners like it's just ugh. did you get a snack where's your snack where'd your snack go where's your snack where did it go There it is, there it is. Can I help you? Hi. Oh, itchy, 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 itchy. I originally was going to make myself some salmon and broccoli and rice. I haven't made the rice yet and I was gonna go buy some broccoli but my mom said that she was at Costco so I asked her to pick me up some broccoli but she's not home yet and I have a few things to do so I don't really have time to kind of sit and wait for her and then make lunch. So I'm gonna make myself a quick bite. I'm gonna make like a toast. I don't have avocado or anything. This is my favorite sourdough bread. I'm obsessed with sourdough. I would choose it over any other bread. Um, this is the San Luis sourdough bread. I get mine at Ralph's, Albertsons. Um, I don't know where else, but they don't have it at Costco, which makes me sad. My mom bought some sourdough from Costco because she knew that I like sourdough. But it didn't taste good. It didn't taste really baguette -y. Do you guys know what I mean when I say baguette um, You know, like it tasted more like, the texture was more like white bread, but the flavoring was like sourdough. But I like it when it's like crispy and chewy like a baguette. So, making myself that. I'm going to fry an egg. I'm toasting my bread. Oh my gosh, you guys need to see this. Just admire her. She's so pretty. Yes? I'm busy. Where am I? I have something to rant about. I've been trying to figure out who used all the Is it me? Am I the drama? You are the drama. You Wait, know why? Ta-da! Anyways, I'm hungry. You hungry? How is it? Mmm. I could have put more pesto in it, but it's good. I sprinkled some parmesan and some feta on there. Clemmy, nice. you can't have this, baby. Guess what? What? Apparently, apparently Apple is having a recall for AirPods. AirPods Pros? Uh -huh. AirPods Pros. AirPod Pros. If you bought them before October 2020, there's a recall for them. So if you go to the Apple store, you can get a new one. So I looked it up and I was like, oh, okay, what are the problems? Because I've had a problem with my right AirPods for like over a year now. And they, like, every time I push them back in, because when I go to the gym and I use them and I sweat, does it happen to you? Where it slips out? My ears got problems. Anyways. It's like, too so when big, I, it's too, like, it's My flat. ear hole is too small. Okay? So when I readjust them to push them back in or slide them around to, like, readjust in the middle of my workout, uh, yeah. um, every time I push in my right one, it statics. Like, there's a scratchy sound, and I was like, oh, did I, like, break my AirPods because I, like, work out in them, and I'm sweating in them, maybe? But that should be an issue. But I am so careful with my AirPods. Like, I clean my AirPods every day, or, like, after every workout. Like, I'm literally always cleaning them because I hate the look of, like, earwax in them. Like, it's disgusting. Either clean your ears or clean your AirPods, one or the other. So, um, so then I realized, what if I can get free AirPods? I say just take it. It's a win. Right? Sit, please. I didn't ask you yet. This so one? The only Korean word she knows. Down. Good job. Up. 
Sand? Yes. Up, spin. Thank you. Ready? It's your last one. Bang. Yep, that's good. You always okay. take a little. You always take a little while, huh? You refuse to die. Okay, one more for good luck. Good job, baby. Hi. Just call me Jessie. Chessie? From Parent Trap? Um, I'm wearing this oversized. I realize this thing is really, really big. But I'm kind of wearing her as a dress with some biker shorts under. And then my hair was just too long, but I don't want to tie it because it's clean. So I just kind of clipped her up to put her out of the way. Some gold hoops. These pieces need to grow faster because I hate them. Let's go. We're going to Fashion Island because I did indeed find out that I purchased my AirPods before October 2020. Also, I need to clean my mirror. Anyways, let's go. We have made it to Fashion Island. Let's hope this whole AirPod thing is not a lie because watch me walk in there and then be like, oh, sorry, it's not a real thing. You fucked up your AirPods. That was your fault. <laughs> Oopsies. I don't know what this place is, but it looks nice. So I just got back from the Apple store. What had happened was I did not get my AirPods today. Um, I walked in and you know how usually someone stands at the front with their AirPod, I mean iPad, I, iPad, and they'll sign you in and kind of figure out what's going on. Um, I don't like going to the Apple store. It's not my favorite thing to do just because someone, everyone is always there, always. There's always a problem going on, you know, with someone's Apple product. So there was no one there. So I went to the nearest uh, person who w wasn't helping anyone. So I asked her and I was like, hi, I just, I heard that um, you guys have a recall on the AirPod Pros. And she kind of looked at me weird and I was like, mm, am I? lying to myself and she was like I haven't really heard of that and I was like and she's like where'd you hear that and I was like well I first saw it on TikTok and then I went and researched it and it says that there's a recall like your girl isn't here like I would never voluntarily go to Apple and wait in line and talk to them and have to wait you know so then she was like okay well I'm gonna go talk to like someone from the Genius Bar or whatever. And I was like, okay, that's fine. So then I started psyching myself out and I was like, shit, did I read something wrong? So then I researched and Apple support themselves have said there is a problem with like crackling sounds or um, like noise canceling not working as well or whatever, whatever, whatever. So I have a problem with my right AirPod crackling and I, it's not just me. I had my brother try and he confirmed that he hears it too. So then she comes back out and she was like, oh yeah. She was explaining to me like, oh, you're gonna have to make an appointment with the Genius Bar and you're gonna have to talk to someone and they're gonna have to run tests on it and blah, 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 blah. I didn't get the best vibe from her. She kind of looked at me a little weird and she kind of gave me a weird vibe as if I was making this up like because I wanted free AirPods like trust me girl trust me I would not be here if there wasn't something wrong with my AirPods so then she was like you just make an appointment and then they'll run tests so now I have to go back tomorrow I honestly wouldn't do this if the crackling wasn't that bad but it's seriously every time I push down on it and it really has been annoying me I've been wondering what's wrong with it and I literally was about to purchase a new one so I'm really glad to know. I hope that it is their fault because I'm going to feel stupid and like kind of bummed out or I kind of really want to know what happened to my AirPods. I don't know if I ever showed you guys my little case. Isn't she a cutie patoots? I customized her on Casetify. Um, their little clip is so like good quality. Let me show you. You like unscrew this and then it like opens up. Super good quality. Um, and then I just picked the clear pink and put my initials on there. Good morning, pretty baby. Good morning. 
I love you. I love you so much. Can you say good morning? You hate being on camera, I know. But you know, there's a lot of people who love seeing you. She's like, so why? I just made some breakfast because I'm not going straight to the gym today. I have a lot of editing to do, so I'm trying to get this done before I head out the door. I made the same thing I made yesterday. Hi you guys currently editing but um nobody freaking told me how ugly i am when i bite into my food like can we replay this slow-mo real quick i'm trying to drink my water so i don't feel so dehydrated when i get to the gym update because I am all over the place. I've been sitting here for the last couple of hours editing. There is a Q&A up. If you haven't watched it, it went up yesterday. Go watch it. I practically tell you everything about me. Everything personal. There's also a few confessions. Some people gave us the hot tea in their lives. So it's really entertaining. Go watch it. I basically cook dinner and eat dinner with you guys. So it's a little more entertaining than just a sit down Q&A. So go watch it. If you haven't watched it, I will link it down below. You guys, I have to show you this. My mom came into my room and was like, hey, what are you going to do with it? Because I've been wanting to show you guys for a while. Do you see this thing? It is a Conair, Conair blow dryer. It says this item is treated with topical anti-stat and is static safe. This item must be retreated before July 1st, 1988. You guys, this thing isn't even supposed to work. Do you see the squ switches? Cold and hot. How crazy is this? My mom actually plugged it in and she said it works. Well, one, it's not safe, but it does work, but it's not strong enough. But how crazy is this? I don't know what it means that it needs to be retreated. Like, do you send it back and they'll send you another one? Like, were there expiration dates on hair dryers? I'm sure my mom knows the answers to all of this, but hair dryer made in British Hong Kong. <laughs> I'm currently at the Del Taco line because it is Tuesday and my brother was like, I'm craving Del Taco. So I'm getting him Del Taco. I'm also getting myself three tacos because your girl is hungry. My brother has been eating Del Taco tacos on Tuesdays since he was a child. It's like, it's totally a nostalgic thing for him. He like randomly goes through phases. He's like, I miss Del Taco. I am pro Del Taco. I rarely eat Taco Bell. I don't have a problem with it. It's just that Del Taco is like right next to my high school. So I think it was just convenient. Thank you. I was the better child. <laughs> so I was randomly looking through my parents' room and I thought I'd show you guys baby pictures because I don't think I've ever shown you like pictures of when I was little. And then I brought Maiden's baby album as well. My mom actually handmade these little cushion fabric covers. Dang, you can tell mine's like older. <laughs> like by the fabric of it too. That's me as a baby. And that's you as a baby. 
This is my mom's baby shower. And this is one of um, our family friends. Nuguji? Soyomma. Oh, this is Hoyomma. Helen's mom. Helen's mom. Uh, my mom met up with her again recently. Apparently, Helen is watching my channel. So, Helen, if you're watching my channel, hi. <laughs> she knows of my channel. I haven't spoken to them in years, but my mom recently reconnected with them. Oh, my gosh. This is our old house. <gasps> That's me. <gasps> Appa was so young. <laughs> Appa was so young. This is my dad. This was, that was nine days after I was born. And this is my mom. Same day. This is my mom and me. Oh, yeah, it was. <laughs> Look it. She's always been sleepy. You guys, we used to have this inside joke that my cousin... <laughs> My older cousin, she's like a year older than me, used to like hate me. Look at her. Look at the joy in her eyes while I am literally bawling my eyes out. This was taken at South Coast Plaza. I can tell. Just kidding. Fashion Island. This was December time. Dude, you look just like Appa. What? I don't. This see. is... Let me see. Okay, like if my child doesn't look like this, I don't want her. See Look you. at, look at her. Hi. She's saying hi. Clemmy kind of looks like me. <laughs> These are just like newborn baby photos. Isn't that my read? And then I have more photos upstairs. Yeah. Okay, we're going to look at Maiden's. There's some bottomless because, photos in there, so. <laughs> because I was alive at this time. You know? No. Bottomless? Yeah. Oh, I would never expose you that way. Just kidding. This one was when my grandma was there. Do you see her in the back? <laughs> She's mean mugging. Oh my gosh, look at, look at this girl. I loved holding Maiden. It was like my favorite thing. That's the way I had it. Look, it's Harabuchi. It's my grandfather. Isn't that way Harabuchi? Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Wow, Oma. Har <laughs> you look just like him. Oh. Damn, boy, your hair was all over the place. I don't know if you guys can see that, but his hair is literally <laughs> reaching for the sky. Dude. Oh, your girl had highlights. Let's talk about highlights. My gosh. You guys are doing those money pieces? I was doing it back in 02, you guys. <laughs> <gasps> He's getting his chubby cheeks. Wait, let me find a good picture. Baby face? Oh, I'm baby. Oh my gosh. I think we are both really freaking cute. Because our chub chub? I need to show you this picture. Because <laughs> if, if you don't have a baby picture like this, you did you weren't a baby. <laughs> Sensor. <laughs> I don't have a butt picture. You don't. I would post it, but I can't. Oh, could it? Oh my gosh, man, you were so cute. What happened? Just kidding. <laughs> Look at him. His chubby cheeks are coming in. When we shaved his head. Look at him. <laughs> this is also my favorite picture. What? Of you crying, bawling your eyes out. Not sure why you're crying, but apparently I love taking pictures of you while you're crying. That was you that took the picture? Most likely. Oh. I can see myself doing it. <laughs> what are you doing? Okay, you guys, take two. At least I have an appointment this time, so I know I won't be <laughs> turned down. So let's just find out if it is a recall problem. If not, it's totally fine. I hope you guys can see me. Um, so indeed, my AirPods were recalled. Um, I thought they were gonna give me like a whole new thing, but they're obviously smarter than that. So they gave me new like, just like the AirPods itself, but the case is mine. Took off the little ear things. These are the small ones. 
and I think he put the new regular ones on. Um, I'm gonna test them out. My ear holes are really small, so that's why I have the small ones on. And then if they bother me throughout my workout, I'll put my small ones back on. But I got new AirPods. Hi, you guys. I'm home. I'm exhausted. Like, exhausted. I could probably fall asleep right now. Um, but I just wanted to end the vlog and let you guys know some exciting stuff that's happening because I just can't stop myself from talking. But um, I found this girl, and you'll see it in my next vlog, actually. But I found this girl on TikTok because I was looking for permanent jewelry. Um, if you don't know what that is, it's basically just mending welding metals um and kind of linking it so it, you can't take it off i originally thought of it because i have a tattoo for my brother and i it's our um, initials mended together but maiden does not plan on getting a tattoo as of right now i don't know if he'll ever change his mind but right now he definitely like doesn't see himself getting one so i thought you know what it would be really cool and when i found this girl um her name is linked by trend on Instagram. I will link her Instagram down below if you're interested or in the OC area. But I found her and she has these cool pieces of metal. She has different kinds. I want to show you guys, but oh, there you go. So there's like a paper clip chain. There's like multiple different chains. My brother and I want to get this one, um, the paper clip chain. She also came out with a few new ones, which is really cool, like a Cuban chain. Oh, you can't see that. Hold on. Let me put the brightness down. There's like a Cuban chain, which is really cool. So Maiden and I are going to get matching ones. And then I thought, you know what? My best friend and I have been thinking about getting one too. So um, I just wanted to show you guys. If you guys are interested when you see this, go book with linked with trend and get yourselves some permanent jewelry but that's what's going on carlos and kim are coming tomorrow and they'll be here for the next three days i will vlog the whole adventure